Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome, my name is Bubba Fabes and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to quickly go over a quick attacker's guide for beginners. This video is meant for beginners, people who just bought the game, want to learn a little bit, want to figure it out, want to hop into multiplayer without looking like a complete idiot. So going to get right into it, not going to waste any time. First thing you're going to want to do, click on situations. You're going to play through these situations, this is going to do a couple of things for you. It's going to give you familiar with a couple of the maps. It's going, to, it's going to get you familiar with the characters and their special abilities. That's very important. And lastly, it's going to give you Renown. Renown is the in-game currency you can use to unlock operators. So, you got some Renown. Click this Operators tab. Click Unlock a New Operator. Get yourself a couple of attackers. Get yourself a couple of defenders. Attackers that you want. Thermite, most important character on the attacking team, only guy that can get through fortified walls. His best friend here is Thatcher, this will take out any electronics. Other good characters, Sledge or Ash, defending side. Must need a character is Rook, he's going to give you body armor, reduce damage from the enemy team, save your life. My, some of my favorites, Mute, Smoke, and Castle, also a very good character. Just a couple suggestions to get you going. Let's say you bought a couple of characters and you have a couple extra renown. You can click that character, click into the loadout. You can select the weapon. You can buy, upgrade the site. You can buy a vertical grip. You can get a couple of skins for it. Deck yourself out, make yourself look good. Starting off the round, you get a short period of time where you get ascending to drone. You get to scout out the area, scout out the defense, see what they're doing, see if you can find the objective. When you find the objective, it's going to throw a little marker above his head. It's going to let the rest of your teammates know which room it is and where you're going to be aiming to attack. Try your best to keep your drone alive. When the defense see you, they're going to be trying to shoot you. Keeping your drone alive is important. It can give you an extra set of eyes into the objective room. It can help you see where the other players are. If you're alive or dead, you can hop onto these drone cameras. Relays information back to your team. It can be quite important later in the game. Alright, getting right into it. There's two things I want to talk about before we just run up into the building. First thing is going to be these little cameras here. It's going to take a while, but try your best to learn the locations of these cameras on the maps. It's going to help uh, take away information from the defense. Every advantage that you can get is best. So. Do whatever you can, take out those cameras. Next thing is going to be your approach. Don't just run up here like an idiot, because what some defenseman is going to do is sometimes they'll break down these windows. They'll put a little hole in it like that. They'll just be sitting there waiting. They know the spawn locations. They're waiting for you guys to just run out here in the open. They'll pick you off. They'll kill you. You're dead. So if you don't know where some of these popular windows are where they'll pick people off, just let your other teammates go first. Let them go, let them get ahead of you, let them die. It's not you that looks like an idiot, you're good to go. Alright, you made it to the building. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about your approach. I'm just going to use my special ability, hammer. We're going to blow this window open. Don't just stand there like an idiot, you're going to get yourself killed. Smash it open, hide a little bit. If You don't know if there's people in there, don't just poke your head in there because you had one window smashed. There's no other way you can be coming from, so they're going to be aiming here. So let's say we want to make multiple entry points. Running across here, it's just going to reveal a line. So if we pop up here, they kind of kind of expect you. The defense can see your rope, so don't do that either. Great attack strategy is to keep your defense looking. Keep them not sure where you're going to approach from. Make them feel vulnerable by doing that is opening multiple entry points. So at this point, if there is someone in there, they don't know where you are. They don't know where you're coming from. They're going to be scared. If they're smart. They'll probably leave this room. All right. So let's say we did all this. We don't know what's in the room. We're going to play it safe. Use your droid. It's going to save you a bunch. 
throw it in there, scatter out the room. Now you know it's empty. That way you don't look like an idiot hopping in this room. Boom, you're dead. Uh, next tip I'm going to talk about you relatively new with the new update is the with uh, the character Frost. She gets these mechanical bear traps that they like to place underneath the windows and they're very hard to see. So if whenever you're entering a room, some if you have the option for repelling, sometimes you can see by changing your stance and looking up down there. Check out for those bear traps. If you don't have that option, whenever you vault in, just look down. You normally have time to shoot the bear trap before you hit the ground. Next thing I'm going to talk about is going to be the peaks. There's three different kinds of peaks. A peak is a way to enter a room that you know or quite suspicious that there's an enemy in. So instead of just walking into the room, you're going to be using one of the three peaks. First of the peak is going to be your slow peak. Pretty self-explanatory. You can use the alt key on your keyboard. This is going to make you walk quieter. It's going to make you more silent. This is going to come in handy for the slow peak to slow us down a little bit. So for your slow peak, we don't know what's in this room. We want to check it out. Maybe we know there's a bad guy in there just waiting for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to edge our way up to this wall. We're going to use that alt key. It's going to make us walk nice and slow. And we're just going to inch our way over here, inch by inch, scouting out the room, seeing if we can find that bad guy. Nice and careful. See if we can get a quick little fraction of his body first so we can see him until we work our way all the way around the room clear it out so that's the slow peak now opposite that is the fast peak this is a very situational peak um, now the fast peak is going to come in handy when with something called peaker's advantage now i'm going to just quickly go over what peaker's advantage is it has to do with data packets being sent over your computer relaying information of your movements and your enemy's movements and peeker's advantage happens when let's say we know that there's somebody in this room let's say we know he's standing right here and we want to use the fast peek to get a kill on him basically what's going to happen is we're going to do a fast peek we know where he is so we're basically just going to run around the corner and we're going to spray the area where we know he is we're going to get that quick kill on him the fast peek is beneficial like i said due to peeker's advantage so peeker's advantage when we did that on the defensive screen because the packets of his movement is going to be slower sent to our computer that he's barely going to we're not going to see him before he sees us so he's going to get around, he's going to get a kill on us, and we're barely going to have time to react. While on my screen, run around, I get a couple split seconds to see him, to make a couple extra moves, get the couple extra bullets to get that kill. It's a little bit cheeky, but it's in the game. Use it to your advantage. The third and final peak is going to be a bit of a combination of the two. It's going to be kind of like your bob and weave. Basically... You're just going to kind of pop your head out a little bit, slowly work away your way around, kind of bait bait out your target a little bit. It's going to make you less vulnerable. He's going to use that peeker's advantage. It's going to work with peeker's advantage. So again, you're, they're only going to see quick little glimpses, barely time to react. And then when you kind of finally catch your eye on him, you're going to be able to take him out. Rapid succession there, it's going to give him less chance to spot you, give him less chance to hit you in the head. So those are the three peaks. It's going to take some time to get used to them, know when to use them, what's the best time to use them, and in what situations. That's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, and you can subscribe for more future content. Check out my Twitter at BubbaFabes. Thank you. Have a great day.